What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove backgrounds from images in Photoshop. Now there's three ways you can remove a background from the subject or extract the subject from the background. The subject being the rock and of course the background right here. Now the first way I'm going to be showing you is a really simple way. So we're not going to be starting on this image just yet. So we're going to head over to this and as you can see this is how this image looks. It's just a solid background with this logo. So images you download off the internet, a lot of them may come with one solid color in the background. And if that is the case, then your time to remove the background has been saved by a lot. All you're going to be doing is coming over to the side here and selecting the magic wand tool. You're then just going to select the background. As you can see, you're going to get this uh, selection. Press delete on your keyboard, press control D just like that you're already done so you know it's transparent when you have or when you know you got rid of the background when you see a checkered background now of course if you were to have layers underneath then you'd see them layers appear but it's that simple when you have a solid color as the background so now getting on to the other ways to do this so when you insert a photo into photoshop usually it will be as the background and it will be locked first of all you want to unlock it just by selecting that lock and then if we try using the magic wand on this time, you can see we can get little areas, but when it comes to this light, uh, which have the bokeh effect, it's going to be really difficult to get rid of that background. So if that's the case, this is then what I recommend you to do. So there's two different things. One, we're going to come back to the magic wand tool, drag out, and we're going to select quick selection tool. Now what this tool is going to do, we're going to select over the rock because he is in focus. Then I'm going to drag this out as you can see it's forming over his body and his head now you can also see if I zoom into this part it's skipping out this area here where his neck is probably because of the lighting but then we're just going to drag out a bit more while holding the left click and that is pretty accurate so I'm then going to right click and layer via copy now if we hide the layer underneath just like that we've got the rock out now it's not 100% clean if I zoom in you can see the edges here and to tidy them up just use the eraser tool by pressing E on your keyboard or come in here and selecting it and simply go around the edges like this to get rid of any excess of the background now for this uh, technique I'm showing you I wouldn't recommend you use it on an image that doesn't have your person in focus for example the rock is really in focus here so the background is blurred out that's why the quick selection tool is really easy to use so if your background is all in focus along with your subject then we're going to be using two other things one we can use the pen tool or two we can then use the lasso tool so this is the lasso tool up here and i do recommend using this before going on to the pen tool and all you're going to do is left click and draw around your subject. Now, you will be more accurate. Me, I'm rushing this quite uh, quickly. But you'll see, even though I'm rushing it, we'll get a good result at the end. And then it's going to link back up. As you can see, this is what we get. This is our selection. We're going to right click. We're going to select layer via copy again. Hide the layer underneath. And just like I showed you, we're going to press E on our keyboard. And we're just going to simply... Um, fix around the edges using the eraser. So you can see it's really simple and it's also really quick to do. Now when you do it, like I said, I do highly recommend you do take your time, zoom into the extreme if you need to, and then just make sure you get every single excess of the background. Now one last way I'm going to show you how to do this. And for this, we're going to be using the pen tool. So select the pen tool. And this time, all we're going to be doing is coming around, and you can be very accurate with this, selecting, as you can see, it lays down a dot. And we're just going to left click every time around the body. So you can see I've already messed up quite a bit. If you do mess up, press Control, Alt, and Z to go back, or just come up to Edit and Undo. And this one's really simple as well. Again, I'm just going to rush it for the purpose of this tutorial so um, you know what to do towards the end of this. Okay, so you can see I've gone around his whole body. 
Um, but what we then need to do is link back up to the very first uh, pen or point we laid out. So it's this one here. So we're going to select this one. As you can see, it will now all connect. We're then going to right click, make selection and select OK. We can then come to the selection tool, right click, layer via copy. We'll hide the background. As you can see, this is what the pen tool's done. Like I said, I did rush, but you can see it's probably also been one of the most accurate um, tools to use. But that's how you remove a background. I've shown you four different ways, again, very quickly, just to run through them. First of all, we had the magic wand tool. This I highly recommend you use if it is just one solid color in the background, it'll save you a lot of time. The second option was the quick selection tool. This I highly recommend you use if your subject is in focus and the background is blurred out. That way the quick selection tool will be able to find the subject a lot easier. The next one was the lasso tool. So this one again, um, there's no actually a set time to use this one. This one I would say is really quick to use though. You can see it's just super quick to go around and then after just clean it all up with an eraser. And then the final one I showed you was the pen tool, which probably would take the most time and it also probably gives you the best accuracy. And then again, to remove any excess of the edges, just zoom in and then all you would do is press E on your keyboard or come over to the side and select the eraser tool and simply come around the edges that you don't need. So you can see, just like that. <laughs>